Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a organising for back to school video. I'll be showing you some little hacks I have along the way and how we get organised for school. So first off I'm going to start with the dreaded labelling everything but actually we have been gifted this kiddo space name labelling like stamp and it is amazing. It This name stamp is obviously personalised with your name. If you have a lot of children, you could also do like surname to save you money instead of getting three different ones or how many you need. But they are also waterproof and will stand up to 50 washes, which is amazing. And they work on all types of material, all types of different clothing. So you can do the whole uniform, including shoes and everything with this stamp, which is amazing. They have left a 10% discount code, which I will put in the description box, but you can see it here on Aria's cardigan. She chose a little sun. It's nice and big, nice and dark. So I am taking no risks, I'm labelling their socks as well and speaking of socks, I have a little hack that I've learnt. Now that I've got three children in school, I actually bought them three different designs of socks. Obviously you can look at the sizes, but if two of your kids are in the same size or something, it can be hard to know whose socks is whose. So I've got one with frills, one with hearts and one with lines and then I know whose is whose. So that's the labelling done and it's all hung back up but I wanted to share one more hack that I have. I have shared this on my Instagram in previous years but I buy one of these shoe storage caddies that has the different sections in and particularly for my four year old who is starting school this year I'm going to put all of her uniform in here for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then she knows which she has to wear that day instead of pulling everything off and wondering what to wear. It will be nice neat piles with her socks and I'll put her underwear there as well, cardigan, whatever she needs will be in the caddy so she knows what to wear. It just keeps it more organised and I'll try and do this on a Sunday for the coming week. I bought enough uniform so that we could do that. Now I'm moving on, I've got my Cricut Joy out and I'm just going to personalise her book bag a little bit. Reception in particular need book bags at our school because they don't have enough space for bigger backpacks. So I had to get her a navy book bag but I just wanted to personalise it a little bit and make it a little bit more fun for her because obviously the older two have backpacks that they picked out. So we're going to put a rainbow on the front and she really wanted her rough aroma on the front as well so she could see exactly which one is hers. So that's what I'm doing here and I think it turned out really cute. She picked the colours and everything and yeah I love my Cricut design for things like this.
I also thought I would just mention these little bags as well. I got these from Cherries and we're going to use them as the girls' PE kits. They were really cute and the fact they had three the same but different colours just worked out good for my girls. So yeah, I thought they were adorable. I love the floral print and the colours so I thought I would mention them. Okay, now moving on, I'm making half of our cutlery drawer a homework station. We got this big bamboo like cutlery tray from Amazon, but we have such a big cutlery drawer we can actually fit two in. So the left hand side is cutlery and then I'm making this into a homework station because like I said, I'm going to have three into school now. So we are going to be upping the homework. Sienna's also going into year five, so I'm thinking she might get a bit more homework as well. So I just want to make sure we have everything here for when they get home. Hopefully it will stay in here. Probably not this organised, but yeah, hopefully we will have everything we need here for homework at the breakfast bar while I'm cooking dinner, things like that. Something else I'm going to be doing as well is getting a fruit box delivered. The girls are only really allowed to take fruit for their snack at school. So having three in school, we're going to go through a lot of fruit. So I'm going to get a fresh local fruit box, but then also make sure I have maybe some tinned fruit or something as a backup for when we run out of this. But this is more plastic free and I don't really like sending like the fruit pouches or anything like that. So yeah, this is a new sort of regular for us that's going to help. So of course I'm going to wash and prep all of this fruit and keep it in the fridge in containers to try and keep it as fresh as possible ready for the girls snacks. And then something else I need to focus on is hair. Having three girls, we need a lot of hair bands, hair brushes, and I'm gonna have a little station in my kitchen so that I can do their hair either while they're eating breakfast or before we run out of the door. So I've restocked all of their school color hair bands and hair clips. And then something else I wanted to mention as well, if you do have um, children that like having their hair done is keep something in the car as well if you drive to school I'll be keeping a brush and a couple bands and scrunchies just in case somehow we make it to the car and I realize someone hasn't got their hair done or they've pulled it out already I have something in the car I don't have to run back into the house and everything so that is organizing back to school with me I hope you found some helpful tips let me know what your tips are and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.